cold. No wind, no <laughs> rain, no sun. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you're starting, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are my love. Nothing like keeping the mayor waiting, Lisa. Yeah, uh, Lisa, we're not <laughs> waiting on you. Lisa, your hair looks like it just got blown out. It's beautiful. Out. <laughs> we do start the parade at 9 o'clock on Thanksgiving morning. Oh, you are fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> well, you look good. <laughs> All right, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Last year, we were all dressed up with nowhere to go. I'm Deborah Duncan, the host of Great Day Houston, and I'm glad that my outfit's already picked out and so is everybody else's up here. Uh, KHAU Channel 11 is so happy to once again broadcast this parade. As you all know, over the years, it's that moment in our city where we come together and say, no matter what we've been through, we know it's going to be okay. There is no one who wanted to see the show go on more than the Honorable Mayor Sylvester Turner. That decision weighed heavy on him last year, but the kindness in him also wanted everyone to be safe. So here we are with another chance to highlight our wonderful city and share what we're thankful for. Please welcome Mayor Turner. Thank you, thank you, Deborah, and thank you again, and KHOU Channel 11 uh, for, for being the television sponsor for this event. And I do recall last year, you know, the rain wasn't going to stop us, it was the lightning. So hopefully we're praying for no lightning, okay? And uh, looking forward to this, this year's parade. Uh, the holiday season is just, is just around the corner. Uh, I'm already making out uh, my wish list. And, uh, and it's a favorite time, our favorite time of the year. The holidays are about family, friends, and enjoying the 73rd annual HEB Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thursday, November the 24th. Generations of Houstonians have enjoyed this free, family-friendly parade, and I look forward to seeing my fellow Houstonians lining the downtown streets as we celebrate together. Our generous sponsors are here and their commitment to the city help make events like this a reality, and I appreciate very much their support. I also appreciate HEB's support of this iconic parade. Their title sponsorship allows the parade to continue to delight us with fresh and creative elements each year. I started to say fresh and, and uh, food, but, it's, <laughs> but fresh and creative elements each year. Uh, Lisa, thank you. Uh, and the HEB family for your support in keeping this 73rd year old Thanksgiving Day uh, parade tradition rolling. And I'm truly grateful for all uh, you and the team at HEB does for the city. Give it up to HEB. <laughs> Another incredible sponsor, HCA Houston Healthcare, is a family of hospitals and other healthcare facilities serving the greater Houston area. Day after day, they commit themselves to the care and improvement of the human life above all else. So thank you, Samantha Coleman and team, for your continued investment in this parade. And the people of Houston, give it up to HCA Houston Healthcare. <laughs> <clears throat> the largest rodeo in the world, uh, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, also returns as a parade sponsor. Uh, thank you to Peter Mastravic and the entire Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Board of Directors for your sponsorship and your support of our community. Give it up to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Peter. <laughs> Bringing Santa to town to close out the parade is Highland Village Shopping Center from the North Pole relocated to Houston, Texas. I want to thank Haida Mabuti, Babuti and Lauren Lille and team for their continued support of this parade and for helping us to get us all in the holiday spirit. Please give it up to Highland Village Shopping Center. <laughs> I want to encourage everyone to get your holiday shopping started at Highland Village and to enjoy those beautifully lit palm trees along West Timer. Celebrating their 50th anniversary this year, our official parade hotel sponsor, the Hyatt Regency Downtown Houston, will be offering special packages for the Thanksgiving weekend. Give it up to the Hyatt Regency Downtown Houston. <laughs> and I want to thank our broadcast partner. I anchored there for many, many years before moving on, uh, KHOU-TV China. <laughs> 
had to laugh on that one myself. KTO to KTOU TV Channel 11 for those watching at home. And a special thanks to Deborah and Dale. Give it up to Deborah Dr. Also, thanks to my director, I should say the city's director of special events, Susan Christian, and her entire team for all the hard work it takes to produce a wonderful parade of this magnitude each and every year. Give it up to Susan and special events. And of course, you know, I couldn't do any of this without our special partners, my special partners, members of city council. So I certainly want to acknowledge council member Sally Alcorn and council member Abby Kamen who are with us today. And council, and council, council member Mike Knox, who's a council member also with the Houston Lobster Show and Parade. And then uh, also call assist Naris from District D. Give it up to all the council members. So I look forward to seeing you all downtown on November the 24th for this year's Thanksgiving uh, parade, this Thanksgiving morning. And it's now my pleasure to introduce our title sponsor, Lisa Heffman, Senior Director of Public Affairs of HEB Houston. Lisa. I'll take cheering for HEB any day. Thank you, Mayor Turner. It's wonderful to be standing up with you here again today. My fellow HEB partners and I are so proud to join the city of Houston and Mayor Turner once again in sharing Thanksgiving with our fellow Houstonians. Can you believe HEB has been part of this parade for 16 years now? It's awesome. We're always thankful for the privilege to celebrate, whether it's leading this fantastic parade through downtown sharing with those in need, or filling your holiday tables with all the freshest and most flavorful goodies available to create memories with your loved ones. Needless to say, we are thrilled to ensure that this tradition continues, especially after a few years of hiccups that have kept us from moving forward. <laughs> but you know, I have a great feeling about this year. The weather is ours. It's gonna be amazing, and so is the parade. As we know, uh, we like, as you know, we like to shake things up a little bit and showcase more pageantry, more pizzazz, and just plain old fun. We are HEB after all. Um, with that, let me give you a few highlights of this year's parade. This year's parade will be led by Houston's newest resident and philanthropist, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. <laughs> Most of you know him as one of the world's best-selling multi-award winning rappers. But let me tell you, in addition to his music and a thriving award win winning television and film career, Curtis has immersed himself in helping to level up Houston in all different ways since he's been here. Fostering leadership skills in young people in the Houston community, in addition to supporting the NAACP Toy Drive, Houston's Christmas Eve Super Feast, the Houston Symphony, and of course, like everyone does, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. If that doesn't demonstrate a heart for people, just like the spirit of giving Houstonians are known for, I don't know what does. It's awesome. And there's more, not just 50 Cent, but backed by Mayor Turner's special invitation, our 2021 Parade Grand Marshal, Dr. Peter Hotez, Professor and Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor. Yes, he deserves, before I even finish, he deserves a round of applause. He's also co-director of the Texas Children's Hospital for Vaccine Development, and we all know what a huge role he's played during the pandemic. Well, he's returning as our special guest. You may all remember the parade was cut short last year due to weather conditions, that lightning he's talking about. And we are thrilled to give Dr. Hotez all the honors that he deserves. Following tradition, we will have no less than a dozen floats and 20 high-flying balloons gliding through the route. My personal favorite, Tom Turkey, and also Santa Claus will make appearances along with marching bands, special performers, and the Apache Bells who are celebrating their 75th anniversary and much, much more. While the 73rd annual HEB Thanksgiving Day Parade is free and open to everyone in the public, I'm happy to share that once again, we will have a few seats for the special purchase at the website 
HoustonThanksgivingParade.org, and those are $28 each. Thank you, Mayor Turner. Thank you so much for allowing us to join you. This is one of the highlights of our whole year. I know it's going to be a great day for all of us, and I can't wait to see you there. Now back to Deborah. Thank you, Lisa. What a difference a year makes. Remember last year, no one could find Topo Chico. I was in the HEB the other day, Topo Chico all day long. You have it all, right? Um, and Mayor, I was just with Fitty Cent the other day, exactly. and he told me something I don't think we all knew. He said, before you were a news anchor at Channel 11, you were also a rapper. You didn't know that? Yeah, he was like, my name is Mayor Turner, and I want you to know I'm so glad that you're coming to the show. So there we go. As we all know, Houston is known for our top-rated health care, and HCA Houston Healthcare is a big part of it. They deliver more babies than any other health care system. They treat more than 1 million patients a year. They have 13 hospital locations across Houston and 11 full-service emergency rooms throughout greater Houston. Please welcome Samantha Coleman, VP of Nursing Informatics, HCA Houston Healthcare. Good afternoon. I am Samantha Coleman. I'm the Vice President of Nursing Informatics for HCA Houston Healthcare, and I am super excited to be here with you all today. HCA Healthcare's mission is above all else, we are committed to the care and improvement of human life. And that commitment truly extends beyond the walls of our hospitals. We are committed to improving more lives in more ways. And we are proud to align ourselves with key community partners to provide resources to the populations we serve, as well as access to the high quality care they need. With this as our focus, I am so pleased HCA Houston Healthcare is a sponsor of the 73rd annual HEB Thanksgiving Day Parade. For the fourth year in a row, we will be honoring our amazing nurses during the event. Our DAISY Award winners will be manning our floats, representing their hospitals. And if you are not familiar with the DAISY Award, it's a national program that celebrates our nurses. These nurses have been recognized by their patients and by their patients' families for exceptional care. As you can imagine, we are incredibly proud of all of our healthcare colleagues. They care for our patients, and they care for one another each and every day, just like family. We are thrilled to be able to showcase our staff to the city of Houston during this exciting parade. So on behalf of HCA Houston Healthcare, thank you to all of our partners. We look forward to joining efforts to make this year's Thanksgiving Day Parade another success. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. All right, as many of you know, coordinating all the floats, the dancers, band members, balloons, walkers, cars, the parade is like, well, herding cattle. And no one does that better than the world's largest livestock show and rodeo. Please welcome Peter Mastravic, Chief Strategic Planning Officer with the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ms. Duncan, thank you for that introduction. And on behalf of Brady Carruth, the chairman of our board, and Chris Bullman, who is president and CEO, howdy. How'd I do, man? Uh, okay, all right, right. No, good deal. <laughs> the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo has been a proud sponsor of the, road, of the parade since 2017, and we are delighted to be part of it again. This year, we're lending our support as sponsors to what's referred to as the Houston is Tradition segment of the rodeo. And you can all imagine what's on that segment. <clears throat> the rodeo and the Thanksgiving Day Parade share a common bond. Both events are deeply rooted in the tradition of Houston, and both events are family-friendly events that we're very proud of. The Rodeo is a year-round organization. We're also a year-round organization with a year-round impact as well. And with that impact, the Houston tradition since 1932, we celebrate our Western heritage. And we, support, we are supported year by year by the community and also by the city of Houston itself. And we are very grateful of that support. It's because of this unwavering support and thanks to the dedication of our 30, 35,000 volunteers that the rodeo has been able to commit over $50, $550 million to the youth of Texas and its education. Pretty amazing. It really is. We'll get it up on that. Thank you. 
We're gearing up to celebrate the 2023 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. It's scheduled for February the 28th through March the 19th. And we look forward to you joining with us and celebrating in our Texas size celebration and of Western heritage. And in the meantime, get ready for a great Thanksgiving Day parade. Thanks to HEB. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. If you've driven down Westheimer near Highland Villas lately, you know that it's already beautifully lit. There's more to come because during the holidays, it is times 100. In fact, when the decorations go up, it's the official notice to start making your list and checking it twice. And by the way, you may have noticed like where Smith & Lewinsky used to be, that two-story building, a new two-story Lululemon, this just in. Please welcome <laughs> Lauren Leo with Highland Village Shopping Center. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Deborah, for uh, the little secret. I guess it is out. But yeah, she said it best about uh, the decorations. They will be up very, very shortly. Uh, thank you for having us here today. Highland Village is proud to be Houston's landmark shopping center. And uh, once again, we, we provide safe shopping, convenient shopping, and of course, great dining as well with various restaurants and all types of genres of food. Uh, but we, we delight you and we want you to enjoy your holiday season with us. As Deborah mentioned, the beautiful holiday lights that you see when you drive down Westheimer or when you're taking a stroll, uh, stroll shopping as well, including the giant red bows. We love putting those up each and every year. And as I mentioned, they will be up very shortly. Uh, now also be able or be on the lookout for Highland Village on Channel 13's November 19th and Channel 2's Houston Life broadcasting from Highland Village on December 2nd. Uh, once again, we are happy to be part of the Thanksgiving Day Parade presented by HEB. Another awesome year to come. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Lauren, I love the how, how y'all plan because there's Crave Cupcake across the street. Then there'll be Lululemon, your workout gear. Across. See, it, it all goes together. Okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it. All right, last year when we canceled the parade, several dance teams were in the Hyatt lobby after coming in from the parade route, and you could tell how disappointed they were that the parade was canceled, but it was something we had to do. A woman asked if I would take a picture with their team. Instead, we ended up doing their entire dance routine for Facebook Live right Right there in the lobby and then another group came up and said can we do it too sure so we basically had the, the whole parade performances in the lobby but it was really cool to see the people who were checking out stopped and applauded their efforts and we saw the hotel staff also pause to enjoy the show uh, so your lobby is a second staging area as well for the parade so this year if we cancel immediately just go to the lobby and that's where it's gonna take place please welcome John oh, you're right no you're right you're right because we have actually our meteorologists have been instructed, no matter what happens, sunny and 70 is what's coming out of their mouth. <laughs> sunny and 70. All right, uh, please welcome John Schaefer, the Managing Director for the Hyatt Regency Downtown. I, I want to be on record as saying we're, we'll be the staging area, but we're not going to be the host for the parade. <laughs> we're happy to once again be a sponsor. And great cities uh, are partnerships like this. Great players and a great city having great events. And we're very uh, proud to let you know that 50 years ago, this year, we were the first hotel in downtown. And after a $50 million renovation, uh, we're looking pretty good in our 50th year. So we're excited to host this once again and proud to be a partner in this great event. Thank you, sir. Although the parade doesn't happen until Thanksgiving morning, this woman and her team have been working on this all year round and at the same time producing a number of other events for the city. Every year offers different challenges, as we know, from weather to securing grand marshals. At this point, if a zombie apocalypse happened, she'd just roll over them with the float and keep it moving. Okay, please welcome the head of the mayor's office of special events, Susan Christian. <laughs> zombie apocalypse, that, that, exactly. You know, uh, I love this event. Thank you all for funding it. And Mayor, thank you for your, the spirit that you have around events every day because you are a leader nationwide of, uh, it just goes to show you what happens when the leader uh, is in, in love with the events as sponsors are and as the community at large are. So you, man, uh, it's a pleasure to work, work with you. Now, Saying this, he also has a few demands. And I want to say this in front of our sponsors. It's important. 
He said everything bigger and better the next 14 months. And they're already pretty big. But what I love about these sponsors and what I love about this mayor, our television partner, everyone involved in this event, my team, is that it is such a joy to work on because we see the essence of Houston uh, all around us. And people are happy. And they're starting these great traditions if they don't already have these great traditions within their family. So I just want to say thank you to all of this team for staying with us throughout you know, pandemics and, and other challenges that sometimes arise because of the value, the benefits that they get, but also the impact of this event on the Houston community. 73 years, that's a long time that people have come to this event. So I want to remind everybody that, uh, you know, go to thanksgivingparade.org and uh, you will see uh, the lineup. We continue. In fact, uh, uh, Lisa, you, you mentioned there were 12 floats, uh, 12 floats, and I think we get, gave you that stat on Friday. There are now 14 floats. <laughs> so thanks to our friend Al Kashani. He's, at, he's also bringing in something that supports uh, uh, our Grand Marshal. And you know, let me tell you who really got the Grand Marshal team. It was... Mayor Turner and Al Kashani, who actually delivered the grand, the grand marshal. Sometimes these guys that, you know, are just such megastars, really hard to get a hold of uh, relative to making a commitment uh, of, this, of this magnitude, right? So it's, it's all of us working together that gets, gets the job done, right? I also just want to announce that uh, one of our favorite stars, uh, it's been a Houstonian, uh, Bun B uh, will be performing. He was to perform last year on the Houston Livestock Show and, uh, and Rodeo Float. He's coming back this year to perform. Of course, he started Trill Burgers, and that's just, you know, he has the, the number one burger in the nation. Uh, but we have so many incredibly creative uh, performers, as well, well as visual artists, making these incredible floats. Big shout out again to my team. Please go on. Uh, thanksgivingparade.org. Look at the, uh, where, you, you know, pick out your spot where you're going to be on the route. Parking is simple, really simple on Thanksgiving Day because the only people that are down here are the worker bees, the volunteers, and, uh, and all of you. Uh, we, looked, we look forward to about 250,000 lining that route. We want you to start your tradition with us every Thanksgiving morning. So please get in the spirit, join us. We love Houston. And you can tell by all these guys right here on the stage just how much we love Houston for 73 years now. Thank you. Right, Susan, did you hear the, the latest about 50 Cent, though? Did you? I, I don't even know the mayor knows this. Uh, he did want me to convey that because of inflation, he will now be referred to as $1. But um, we, um, uh, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Thankfully, we've concluded this press conference, but um, we're going to have everyone remain on stage for a group picture, but they also are uh, able to answer any questions you all might have out there, and I'll step out of the way. Okay. Good questions. Anyone? Yay. Oh, okay. Pictures and group photos. All right. Carlos? Oh, there you go. No, I, I, I won't be performing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I do want to, I do want to acknowledge 50. Uh, for his uh, uh, participation in it. I mean, he moved uh, from New York to Houston. This is his residence now. And he's coming in a huge way, uh, tremendous job with our kids, especially in our low-income communities. I mean, he's really invested his time and resources there, along with Al Alkashani. And then when asked to uh, be the Grand Marshal here, uh, literally he has worked to kind of change his schedule around to participate so we're just honored on that front. And then Dr. Hortez, um, he missed out of the parade last time, but he is so deserving uh, that we thought it would be good to bring him back and to acknowledge him. So that's a, that's a huge deal. And then I, I do want to join Susan in thanking again these sponsors, because with inflation and everything going up and so much uncertainty in the world, uh, people can certainly hold on to their dollars. But I, so I want to thank each and every one of these sponsors for being so generous. So you can't have a major event without them. So anyway, that's enough from, for me, and let's take some pictures. Okay.